my kale is looking like this. Uh, the insects got to it. It's all chewed up. You want to prevent this before it gets to the point where there is there are no more leaves and all there is is a stem and it's gonna die. So I basically got this um, insect uh, garden killer. Um, it's all natural, uh, so it's not like a. Uh, it's very organic. You can see here all the ingredients that's on here. So I'm gonna spray this and hopefully this curbs the problem that I'm having here. And basically I'm just going to spray the leaves uh, and you want to do this um, early in the morning or in the afternoon so you don't burn the leaves um, because if they get wet with the sun it's going to burn them out. So basically I'm just spraying this all around the leaves and all around the base of the kale and hopefully it stops all the insects from eating, um, from eating all the leaves. And I might as well spray it on some other things. Uh, it actually looks good. Everything else looks good. It's just a kale. And it really smells like rosemary because that's one of the ingredients here. Sesame oil, rosemary oil, thyme oil, cinnamon, garlic. It's very all natural, organic stuff. I'll probably cook with this thing. Here's the importance of uh, not only uh, removing the weeds but also making sure your plants have enough room to grow and unfortunately with this garden I don't have that much room so things are kind of clump up now as they grow and they're close together but you can notice that um, lettuce right there is right next to the uh, green onions and there's not enough room to spread and it's very close to the other lettuce which is right there so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, I just finished removing all the dead leaves uh, all in all the lettuce is pretty much ready to eat which I'm gonna start doing that soon um, but as you can see um, the arugula that I planted in this row right here um, one there, a few on the other side, and uh, I did remove the weeds uh, so it can grow because if you don't remove the weeds and if plants are too close together, that's not going to be good for the plant and it's not going to grow as it should if it's too close together. All right, here's the other lettuce that I, the uh, the other arugula that I thinned out. Um, it's doing marvelous. That's going to be uh, a little zucchini that's growing. You can see two of them actually right there. One is closed. Uh, those are like the little pistons for the uh, zucchini. There it is. All right, so that's how it's looking right now.